Hello everyone in the world, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about the present simple. What does it consist of? The subject, pronouns. I, we, you, they, plus the verb infinitive. And what I mean by infinitive, that the verb does not have S or ES or IES. But when the subject changes from I, we, you, they to he, she, it, the verb is not infinitive. Like he works, she works, it works, and so on. Works is not an infinitive verb. The same idea with he does, she does, it drives me crazy, and so on. We use the present simple to talk about things in general. We use it to say that something happens all the time, or repeatedly, or that something is true in general. So highlight these four keywords. In general, all the time, repeatedly and something is true my name is Mary so Mary is a true thing the earth goes around the Sun that is true and also something that repeatedly that happens every day we use a present symbol to talk about uh, something that happens again and again in the present I play football every weekend every month every year every day the cafe opens at 730 in the morning does that mean that the cafe open every morning, every day at 7.30? Yes, that's right. Something that is fixed in the future. Date, schedule, events, calendar, first day, your first day. The school starts next week. The train leaves at 7.15 this evening. So does that mean that every day at this time the train leaves at 7.15? Absolutely, because it's something is scheduled, something has a start time and end time, and like when you have your uh, curriculum for this month or for this year, it does not change. We also use the present symbol in questions and negatives. Let's see how we would use it. Look at these questions. Do you play the piano? That's a habit. Where do you live? That's a general information. Does Jack play football? That's a habit or something is also repeatedly every day, every week. Where does he come from? That's general information. Do Rita and Angela live in Manchester? Remember that Rita is a singular noun and Angela also is a singular noun. But both are connected by and, so they're not one, they are two now. Plural. That's why we used do. So remember that you can use do with plural pronoun. They or Angela and Rita or Rita and Angela. Do they live in Manchester? Where do they work? But when we used Jack, that's why we used does. So does with singular nouns and do with plural nouns. So Jack is one person. That's a singular. But Rita and Angela are not one person. They are two. So that's a plural noun. So play, live, come and work they are all infinitive verbs because it doesn't have s or es or ies how to answer these questions if i told you do you play the piano you could say yes i do or, no i don't or yes i play the piano or no i don't play the piano where do you live i live in the united states i live in egypt does jack play the piano yes he does no he doesn't because actually jack is a man so in the pronoun we use it we, we say he but if the noun was female then the pronoun also will follow it so it will be she so if I told you does Angela play the piano or play football so you would say yes she does or no she doesn't because An Angela is female now look at these sentences I like tennis but I don't like football don't equal to do not I don't live in London now. I don't play the piano, but I play the guitar. They don't work at the weekend. So that's something that usual, that happen, happen all every weekend. John doesn't live in Manchester. Doesn't equal to does not. Angela doesn't drive to work. She goes by bus. So that's something that's regular. Happens every day. She goes to work by bus. Someone asked a question. Can we use the verb to be in the present symbol? Absolutely yes. But remember, you're not going to include the verbs. 
and that's how it works. The verb to be consists of am, is, are. You can ask questions and also you can answer the questions. How? Is goes with he, she, and it. Are goes with we, you, they. And am only take I. So let's see how we would use these verb to be in questions and answers. What is your name? The verb to be is is. Your be my. Your my. So what is your name? My name is. So on. What is your name? My name is John. How old are you? Are you in the question tend to be I am in the answer. So are you? I am. How old are you? I am 21 years old. Is your name Zach? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Also, you could say, yes, my name is Zach. No, my name is not Zach. Also, you could say, no, my name is John. Is Mary your girlfriend? You could also say, is she your girlfriend? But when you ask someone for the first time, you would probably use the actual person name, Mary. Is Mary your girlfriend? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Are you, they, we, good people? Yes, we are good people. Yes, they are good people. Or, no, we are not good people. No, they are not good people. Remember that you, the pronoun you, can be singular or plural. And how would you know that? From the question itself. If I told you, are you a good person? Person is one singular noun. You here, it refers to one singular noun. So, in this way, you would say, yes, I am. But if I said, are you good people? People are plural now. So, you here in this way, refer to plural noun. So, are you good people? You would say, yes, we are, or no, we are not. And that's how you would use the verb to be am, is, are, in questions and answers. One last note, do not include the verbs.